After a protracted absence from the movie industry, Sonam Kapoor returns in a film that had a strong trailer. Yes, I'm referring to the recently released film Blind from Geo Cinemas. Let's find out if this movie is worth watching. And if you want to watch this video in Hindi, then click on the link in the description. Hi guys, I'm Sonam Kapoor and you're watching Blind. This is an official remake of the 2011 Korean film of the same name. The screenplay for the Hindi remake has been penned by Sho Makhija, who is also the director of this film. The film focuses on the life of an ex-police officer, Jia, who loses her eyesight one fateful day after meeting with an accident. The only ally and companion she finds after losing her sight is Elsa, her pet dog. Jia meets a cab driver one night, which is how the tale of secrets, tension and mystery begins. This film is both a hit and a miss, and the screenplay meanders at places. Let us focus on some merits and demerits of the film now. The Merits Cinematography The film is shot at several locations in the UK and is visually rich. The use of specific colours in lighting the film significantly to enhance the villainous profile of the antagonist aids the film. Human and Pet Relationship I have rarely encountered a film that has messed up the bond between a dog and a human. And this film also creates magic in the scenes shared between Sonam Kapoor and Elsa, the dog. The editing. In several of the scenes, the characters, in particular the villain, arrive out of nowhere. This not only cuts down on a lot of screen time, but also gives the movie more jump scares. Although, some parts are overly long and try your patience. But Tanupriya Sharma deserves praise for editing this film. Now let's talk about some demerits. Logic. Some characters' behaviors, such as the cab driver played by Poorab Kohli, are not adequately explained in this film. The character is just referred to as the cab driver throughout the movie because the creators didn't even bother to give him a name. Poorab Kohli's character has virtually any backstory revealed. Hence, his actions leave audiences feel emotionless. Another thing, is this film set in Balia or Gonda? I mean, it's a... It's somewhere in, in a very good developed part of London. Shouldn't the city be equipped with CCTVs? Additionally, the characters never attempt to shout for help when they are in trouble. And as a result, the assistance always arrives after a crime without them asking for it. An intelligent spectator is negatively impacted by this. Forced humour. What dilutes the intensity and seriousness of both the crime and the criminal is the way in which it has been handled. In scenes that expose crucial information, we see Vinay Pathak who plays Prithvi, a cop, munching on snacks. And all his colleagues are either obese or absolute douchebags. Dark of menace. If there isn't enough bloodshed in a suspense thriller that features rape, torture and murder, your true crime bug won't be satisfied. The writers decide not to make the script more gory. A thriller isn't complete without several twists. In this film, there are no twists at all. In the end, there are some minor twists, but by that time, it's already too late. The performances. Jia is well played by Sonam Kapoor. She excels in some scenes, but in many, she misdirects the emotions. She also consistently uses the same pitch, tone and attitude throughout the movie, which can get annoying at times. When speaking with someone, blind persons often make an effort to make eye contact. But Sonam never even leans slightly in the direction of the noise and instead directs her gaze directly in front of her. Most of the two shots in the movie are tainted by this. Vinay Pathak as Prithvi has his moments. Poorab Kohli is an extremely talented actor who has been wasted in this one. Shubham Saraf is nice and looks cute. To sum up, the movie Blind will soon be forgotten and lost in its own darkness. You can watch it on Geo Cinema. For more videos like this, subscribe to the Flick Edict. My name is Navjot. I shall see you next time. Bye bye.